I mean, you've probably seen the Silicon Valley uh, episode where they talk about the sales thing, right. <laughs> where there's behind the door, there's all this noise, and this these people are doing this thing. <laughs> and the reality is, I think a a, a good a founder needs to understand the sales cycles, understand the buyer's buyer's journey and the pain that their buyer is in, and how your solution can help them. And I think I think it also requires you to think in a different mindset. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of salespeople are, I guess, coin operated or, mm-hmm. you know, think about things financially. And oftentimes I think some of the, the technical founders I've worked with just don't really have that part of the brain. They're not they're thinking about I'm solving this problem, but they don't think that there could be a brain type out there that is simply uh, motivated by just monetary mm-hmm. uh, reward. But I think it's sort of ex- uh, trying to understand how that person thinks and what would motivate them is important. There's a different different sort of a mindset. And some of the mistakes I've seen made is you bring in a salesperson who's used to being at a company where you have a predictable product and you know has, has a, a done very, very well as a strong track record and, and can get in and to a startup and just not be able to deal with the, the fact that it's really not ready yeah. for prime time or there's no repeatability to the process.